be a long, hard match, this. Uh, both players look uh, very capable. Uh, I have seen the boy Schmidt before. Um, I think he may be too strong for the Frenchman, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I think the French just currently going through a, a transi transition period in men's singles, maybe. Not quite as strong. Brice Levity's not quite performing at the level he would have, maybe, in an uh, Olympic year. But this is not the year to really perform, I suppose. It, it's Olympic years that these guys want to perform. And Matthew Lolling Loli Ping not playing in the French National Centre anymore. So an opportunity for the younger boys to come through. That's a lovely shot from Schmidt there, uh, just jumped up. Previous twice he's been in that side of the court, he's played a straight stick smash and that time he just hit it cross court and the young French boy nowhere near it. Yeah, yeah. Schmidt, certainly a powerful man, you can see the power in those legs. Yep, and he's very, very light on his feet for such a big frame. Very light and very quick. You can see the muscle Three. development just above his knees when he is about to serve or receive serve. Once again, here it's a battle at the net. Who's going to win control of the net? Because when you're hitting Six, down at this level, three. you're controlling the rallies. Six three, the young French lads up, Lucas. They're a very accurate stick there from Lucas Schmidt forces the error the young French boy having to move wide there and just got an error out of him that was interesting there Schmidt serving wide and really looking for the lift round the head which the French lad gave him and he was on to it very quickly Very good straight smash from the French chap Stand there. Seven, four. So a lot for Lucas Schmidt to do here. Seven four down in the first. The young French chap asking a lot of questions of him. It was a lovely variation from him there, Stand round the head, cross court Five, reverse slice. Seven. And uh, then he, he was quite lucky with a net cord after that, but lovely movement as well from full diagonal of the court. Lucas Schmidt, he's got a lot of thinking to do here because the the French boy is dominating the game at this moment in time Nine, and uh, any chance five. he gets at all, he's putting pressure on him. So now he's looking to the coach for a bit of advice there. Yeah, nice net shot from Lucas Schmidt. I was going to say Lucas, but both of them are <laughs> Lucas, so we're going to have to refer to them, 
their surnames. I was just calling one the French chap. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's, he's not firing in all Joshua. cylinders at the moment, anyway. Ten, six, yeah, certainly a very lax shot, you know, the really lacked conviction that shot, that drive down the line. More conviction in that return of serve. Oh. Out. Job is over. Seven, ten. We're all right. We're all right for now, but if people come in here, oh. it gets too noisy. Eight, ten. Round the head from Schmidt. Good cross court from Clairbault. Again, good net from both men. Two points in a row with good Nine, net from Schmidt. Ten. Clawing his way back into this, just trailing by one. Very good lift, very good Hello. lift and good control from Lucas Schmidt there. Young French lad thought it was going long but plumb on the line. Schmidt serving low wide again there though that time the French boy moved forward and just pushed it down the line, got the mistake. Yeah, one point into the lead. And while it's the Frenchman who has the lead, I think Schmidt will be quite happy just to be trading by one. I think the way he's played, yes. Uh, I, I thought he would maybe be, at the, at the interval in the first set, be leading al around 11-5, 11-6. But I'm quite impressed with the French lad. Uh, he's a hard worker, made very few unforced errors. And that's what you need to be doing. You need to ask the questions of your opponent. Are you up to it? Yeah. Oh, little stumble on his ankle. You can see him just feeling the effects of that. That's where the power in the legs comes when he explodes forward to the net for the kill. He's obviously done a lot of work on his leg development. Uh, very heavily developed in the thigh area. And he used that power there to come forward looking for the net kill. Just as you say, stumbled after it. time drop from Lucas Clearbot. 12, 11. I do feel just watching and it's, it's a long time since I uh, last saw Lucas Schmidt play but watching both Lucas the players here Lucas I think the French Lucas lad looks the, the more inexperienced and I do think the longer the rallies go on it will favour Schmidt. I would agree 100% with that Dan. Schmidt, of course, who would be involved in the German National Center, being away with national team at, you know, big tournaments. Clairbo, outside 13, of that 11. French uh, elite squad, almost. And really, uh, circuit tournaments would be the height of his experience. So uh, there is that gulf there for sure. He's got Schmidt. Schmidt's got a very, very good round-the-head reverse cross-court. And in the previous rally there, we saw it twice. Uh, 
the second one forcing the error. But I think if I was the French boy at the moment, I wouldn't be giving him a lift high round ahead because that's the shot there. He can play that shot. He plays a, a lovely 15, reverse cut 11. to that area. And he can also hit the stick straight. So y you're really under pressure there. Uh, I would be playing him in the forehand corner at the moment if I had to lift a shuttle. If you can get him to take it in the backhand, though, all the better. Very few players are as effective when they're hitting backhands than they are taking things round the head. Obviously, it's Lucas Schmidt agrees with me. Yeah, he was just nodding his head there. <laughs> but he's deceptively quick around the court. You'll rarely see him have to take something on the backhand side. He's very, very much favours around the head. And he, and he wants to do that because he's, he's got the variations from round the head and he's got power with a very short action. And that's what top play is all about, having variations from all areas of the court. Yeah, and a good reach. Digging the shuttle off the floor and somehow managing to get it over the net. It's the German in the ascendancy right now. In the last 10 points, Schmidt has won nine of them. That's what I would expect from him. The way I saw him play the last time, it was hit and fly for the front. And he just did that. And he was far too quick there. Far too quick for the young French boy. So if you were to ask me, Mark, and I was a betting man, my money would be on Lucas. a little break in the momentum service error from Schmidt but a good aggressive return from the German yeah and what a difference from the start of the game and the turn 11-10 and now he's 19-12 up yeah. it's like two different players effectively yep both men confident to take each other on at the net and a snatch in the backhand yeah, but I think Schmidt is now uh, very, very confident indeed in it. I think he feels that he, he just has to keep going the way he's going. There'll be no more questions asked of him by the French lad. I think he thinks he's got the winning of this game. 14, A little look to the umpire from the German. Felder was out. But I think, again, good call from the line judge. Schoolboy error. Long way wide. Takes Lukas Schmidt in black to game point after 14 minutes. And again, the power coming forward. Game. First game to Schmidt. And again, very much a game of two halves for the German. 14. Pretty much out of it. And looking very lackluster in the first half of the game. And then after the interval came out a different man and really pushed on home Dan yeah he certainly upped his pace uh, and really dominated the second half of that first set um, he just looked a quality player after the break I don't know what advice he got or if he got a rollicking from the coach or whatever about uh, not being focused yeah. enough or he had to up the pace but whatever the advice was he certainly took it on board and uh, made the young boy look very inexperienced there he was dominating everything yeah you dominating every rally we saw from the replay there the explosive power that schmidt has coming forward to the net for the kill for the winner clear ball really felt it was out but i was no question of it i think it was more in hope than anything else a lot to think about for the french And important, I think, for Clairbo to come out and really get some points on the board to put some pressure on his opponent. Schmidt just has a little bit of a swagger about him at the moment, a confident swagger. Yep, I don't think uh, that there's any way that the French boy will win this game, but he could try and put up a little bit of better performance than he did at the second half of the first set there. 
So as you can see, the Emirates Arena in all its glory. Remember, on Twitter, use the hashtag SOGP for your comments. Shout out to Andy who is watching the badminton live at the Emirates here today. Andy, wherever you are, thanks for watching. That's it, the young Frenchman up the pace there in that rally. I don't know if he can do that for a full set, but it would be interesting to see how Lucas Schmidt handles that. Schmidt working hard there to get behind the shuttle, played a controlled clip down rather than the flat out smash that I think the French lad was expecting. Exactly, good variety from the German, you know, it's not all about power. Yep, very good in mixing it up. The kids in the hall are desperate for some excitement here and it's just that they don't understand that the quality of the play that they're actually witnessing. Um, but they're all here for festivals run by Badminton Scotland and they've all got thunder sticks and they are desperate to bang these things together and make a noise. So hopefully Lucas Schmidt can give us that excitement here and get these kids really involved in the game. I think that was the first time I saw Clairwalk push Schmidt onto his backhand side. Lucas Sch Schmidt is, is a very short, sharp action in all his uh, in all his shots. So strong, it, uh, he can play anything from anywhere, uh, and that, as I said, is the secret. It's the variation, so that it keeps you. You're trying to be on balance, so as you can get to all areas of the court. And the young fella there just caught slightly Five, going the wrong way, two. not expecting the fast clip cross court, but very good play from Lucas Schmidt. Again, all too easy for the German. Five, two, Pretty yeah. much carrying he's on from where he left off in the first game. He's dominating the net, Mark, and mm. that's what I think that the young French guy can't get on the net early enough to put him in trouble. So, And when he's lifting, he doesn't know what Smith's doing with it, so he is really struggling. Six, two. And again, just a three-quarter smash, jump smash. Nice and steep. For yep. the winner from Schmidt. It was all about the angle there for Schmidt. Nice pull cross court at the net. See, I, I would like to see the, the young French boy play net and just stay there because he backs off all the time. Yeah. Seven, two. Certainly an intimidating figure, Schmidt at the net. Job is over. Three, seven. The young French boy is full of self-doubt at the moment. Schmidt is full of confidence. Just went for too much there. Four, seven. But it's an uphill battle for the young boy. Uh, the young French lad at the moment. Yeah, that snatch was a bit snatchy from Schmidt. Just needed to be a little bit more patient and in that rally, a little bit more patient in the rally. Five, yep, and the, the young chap should take heart from that because he just needs to try and keep it going long enough. And uh, he, he's getting errors, so just keep doing that. Get it back and back. There you are. Now he's back in at it. And the coach is now screaming at him. Telling him that he can win. He can win. You've got to believe you can win when you're out there. Yeah. Four points in a row for Lucas Clairbo. A settling point for Schmidt, I may feel. Well, I don't know why he did that there because he's won three points in a row serving low to him. So why flick him?
Yeah, good defense from the German. Round ahead, coming cross court and clear ball. Yeah, a better rally from the Frenchman on that occasion, That's finishing it off at the net. And, uh, Sorry, Mark. V very, very good play from him. And then eventually he clipped down, looked for the net early. Lovely spinning net shot. And we forced the error from Schmidt trying to lift him to the rear. Yeah, Schmidt always stretching, as you can see on the replay. Good shot from Clairbo. Now there you are. The French lad hasn't made a mistake. He's now 8 all. So he's got to take heart from that. I think he needs to look for the, the front of the court more, the young French Nine boy, eight. when he does lift. Schmidt's not hitting power smashes through him. He's hitting clips and he's varying the power overhead. So he needs to adopt a, a base that's further up the court to hunt the front of the court Nine and try and force Nine Schmidt eight. to give him it in the air. Yeah, I think Lucas Schmidt also, he's just trying to force the rallies a little bit. Went for a winner of that serve, he should have never went for... Ten. Because he's gone from 8-2 up till 10-9 down now, and now he's lost his way a little. He's wondering, what was he doing before he won those points? Looking for a little bit of reassurance for the coach there. See, that's just up and a clip down. It's not power. It's just an accurate clip down towards the line. And the young boy has to be up the court looking for the, this type of thing from him. Schmidt on the replay. You can see that, see that there in the replay, Mark. Almost hardly any backswing at all. He's just uh, just pronating his arm through the sh through the shuttle, but very little backswing. Short one, 20 seconds. Short one, 20 seconds. Please. Guys, you have the wrong. 11-10. Play. Lucas Clairbo's picture on the Lucas Schmidt's stats. I can't hear me. Guys, Mark here, you have Lucas Clairbo's picture on Lucas Schmidt's statistics. 12-10. <laughs> so 12-10 to Schmidt. Uh, nice smash out wide from the Frenchman. He's certainly uh, playing a lot more confident now, Dan. He feels he's in this match. He feels like he has a tactic now that's working against the German. Yeah, well, he came onto that serve there and, and pushed it. And uh, that's the worst reply that Schmidt has given. Uh, when he plays on the net, I think it suits Schmidt. But uh, when he pushed off the net, Schmidt didn't look too clever with it at all. He's coping a lot better as well. I don't know if the coach has told him to look for fast clips down and just turn them rather than look for a big smash that isn't coming because he, he does give you the impression he's going to hit a, an absolute rocket of a smash, but he doesn't seem to do that. Oh, oh this will be interesting. Which way will that go? 13, 12. Oh, no, he's got it. Yeah, I think the foul was called against oh, Clairbo coming across the net. Because the shuttle landed Schmidt's side of the net. Mm.
Yeah, we saw on the replay there that the umpire signalled Lucas Clairbo had come across the net. So. Oh, nice backhand from the Frenchman. I'm just watching Lucas Schmidt turn well, no here, man. and I, I think if I was helping the, the French chap there, I'd be saying to him, you have to get him turning, although he's quick. Uh, he doesn't look to be too unbalanced when he goes from one extreme on the sides of the court, but he's very, very quick going back in front. Oh, lovely net spin. Schmidt did well to control that net spin. That was a lovely shot because it, uh, anyone with a bit of money on the French lad playing on the net there and Schmidt gambled on it and just stepped forward and was almost caught. Uh, he hit the shuttle out eventually, but... That's a batter. Oh, service fall, okay. Yeah. Schmidt just saying to himself, waking up there. Mm. Oh, he got away with that, I think, Dan. Yeah, he was a lucky man there. That should have been pushed right back into his body, I think. Yeah. That, that's what I love about this scoring system. If they're five or six points up, they tend to relax, or, or you can relax. And then the other pe people score two or three points, and then you feel, uh-oh, oh, you're panicking again. I think it's, it's so good for the spectators in one way. 16. It's bad if, as soon as the gap gets wide, the people just throw the towel in. But if you've got the right attitude, you can get yourself back into any game at all. Any game. Yeah, for sure, I would agree. There's not much wrong with the scoring system for sure, but we do. I do feel we need some sort of uh, some f some way of building a match to a crescendo. It's too easy to lose a match with a serve into a net, or and uh, it's almost like a downer. Mm -hmm. So you know something like if you had to, yeah, the rally point system, yeah, very exciting, but something like you have to have serve to win a game or something like this. Yeah, I understand what you yeah. mean, uh, Mark. There's, there's a lot of players complaining all around the world at club badminton. They, they all say to win a game with somebody serving into the net or whatever. I just say, then don't serve in the net. <laughs> well, that's true, and Then you'll course. get a rally. Well, then, uh, <laughs> but I do know what they mean. To that that's fine if you have robots on the other side of the net. What yeah. I'm, what essentially, what I'm saying is we have a good game and we have a good sport, but maybe just one or two tiny tweaks will make it even more, yeah. much, much more of a spectacle. Yep. So 1916 is the German in the ascendancy in the second game. Already one set to the good, of course. And that's good, nice play. High at the net again from right the German. Game, match point. Yeah, he was, he was so far up there, the, the French lad should have lifted the shuttle, but tried to play again on the net and lost a bit of control, which allowed Lucas Schmidt to hit the winner. Yeah, and that's it. Yay. Clenched fist from Schmidt. He takes the game in two games, 21-14, 21-16. And as expected, uh, we both forecast that one. We both expected Lucas Schmidt to win, and he did. And uh, 21, 14, 21, what was the difference, you think, between both players in that game, Dan? I, th I think... Uh, Speed endurance for me, uh, Schmidt lost his focus a little in the middle of the second set there. Uh, the French boy didn't went through a small patch where he didn't make many unforced errors. It was a little bit difficult for Schmidt, but he got himself back into the right frame of mind. Uh, he started hitting and looking again and uh, cut out his unforced errors and came out on top. As all players leave the court. Resounding win in the end for Schmidt.
Our next match will be a mixed doubles. It's French player Roland Labar and Emily Lafell against English duo Ben Stowski and Alex Langley. <laughs> 